Education was so valued by our founding fathers that funding for public education was included in the 1878 Northwest Ordinance. Our forefathers recognized that people who could read, write, and do math had the skills to become successful farmers and businessmen. Educated citizens could also read newspapers, understand the positions of political candidates, and vote. So across rural America, children learn the three R's, including elocution and even a little Latin in one-room schools like Poppleton. Children of all ages gathered in a single room with one teacher. Books were often scarce, so the children had to share. Instead of expensive paper, they used slates. In many communities, kids brought firewood to school. Order was essential for a teacher who had to rotate their time between multiple topics for children in four or five grade levels. Boys and girls were segregated. Girls entered the school first and sat on the right side of the room, and boys entered after them and sat on the left. Children who disobeyed were punished, and those who didn't complete their work sat in the dunce chair. A child was promoted to the next grade only when they had completed the information and skills of the grade that they were in. Explore Poppleton. Sit in a desk and read a book. Or, if you'd like, sit in a dunce chair. <laughs>